workout challenge. Today we're going to slim down the arms and yes, I'm wearing a workout skirt for the first time today. I'm so happy with it, but we're not here to talk about skirts. We're here to work out the arms. Um, we're going to do each exercise for one minute straight. And before getting started, I recommend you to warm up. The best way to do that, in my opinion, is just to blast some really good music and dance around in your room for about like two to three minutes. I've done that before starting this and it made me feel really hyped and really motivated. So definitely do that. Um, in this workout, I will be talking a lot. So if you don't like talking workouts, you can always mute me and put on your own music once again. Um, I will put some song recommendations in this video in case you need some recs. And then without further ado, if you're excited, if you're pumped, if you're warmed up, get on your mat, get ready, and let's go, let's go. So you can do this workout either standing up or sitting down. I'm sitting on my knees right now because that's just most comfortable for me, but you can do whatever makes you comfortable. Um, we're going to get started with angel arms because that's always the exercise that I like to get started with in all of my arm workouts. Um, I'm bringing back the arm challenge because a lot of you guys asked for it and I even get comments from like videos that are like three years ago or longer ago and from people saying that they still do those workouts, that they truly help and that they see such a difference and for me that's also a huge motivation. I love it when you guys continuously do the same workouts but I of course also want to give you the option to change things up a little bit so I'm bringing back the arm challenges with some of the good old exercises that you all know and love and some new ones. So for this, it's really important to keep your posture as straight as possible. When you're standing up, please bring your chest forward, engage your core. Also, when you're sitting down, engage your core a little bit and keep your neck straight. Now we're going to do arm circles. When talking, I might move my head a little bit more than I should, but you know, try to keep your head as straight as possible. Fixate your eyes on one specific point and keep smiling through the pain. Um, your arms will burn eventually. I feel like people always underestimate arm workouts like this, um, you know, especially the ones without weights because they feel like the exercises are really easy and simple, which they are, but eventually your arms will be on fire. So brace yourself. We're going to get real hot and sweaty. Well, I'm already sweating because it's so hot right now. It's like the peak of summer where I live, but I love it. I love the sun, I love the summer. So nothing but positive vibes for us. You're doing really, really well. And now let's shake it out a little bit and we're going to do backwards circles. So exact same thing, but then backwards. You're doing amazing. And speaking about positive vibes, um, I've been sharing a lot on my Instagram stories about manifestation and positive affirmations. And I know it's not everybody's cup of tea, but you guys, um, if you've been doing my workouts for quite some time now, you will know that I'm, you know, I really love to put some positivity in my workouts and a sprinkle of affirmations. So we're going to do some positive affirmations today, starting with I am beautiful. And even if you don't feel beautiful right now, we're just going to put it out into the existence because that's a thing with affirmations and manifestations. Even if you're not there right now, you're just going to put them into the universe talking in present tense, which is really important. Always speak in present tense. We're doing this exercise right now, by the way. Um, and then your dreams will come true. So even if you don't feel beautiful right now, even if you're not in the best shape possible, even if you don't feel healthy, even if you have mental problems or you're just in a bad place, speak positive thoughts into the universe and you will get those positive thoughts back to you. They will come true. So we're going to do a little exercise. You're going to repeat after me. First off, you're going to say, I am beautiful. Good. Okay. Now I am strong. 
I am healthy. I am powerful. I can do anything that I put my mind to. Good, I'm so proud of you. Okay, next exercise, let's shake it out a little bit because my arms are burning already. We're going to do forward pulses. So with this topic of positivity, um, I know I do a lot of workouts on my channel, but I want you to know, and I always emphasize this, so it might get repetitive if you do a lot of my workouts, but I want you to know that you shouldn't work out for anybody else but yourself. I've had people in my life make really mean comments about my appearance, not only when I was like modeling from professionals, but also from people that I thought I loved. Um, they would make really mean comments about my appearance and that made me really insecure and I you know, worked out because I wanted to change myself for them. But that's not going to get you anywhere. That's just going to bring so much negativity towards yourself and your body and you're going to get stuck in a rut and whatever you do, you're going to be so dissatisfied. So never do that. Just work out because you personally want to change yourself. You personally want to be in a better shape not because anybody else tells you to. Okay, now we're going to do the same thing, but then backwards pulses. And I always emphasize this because I don't want this to be a place, you know, a community full of people that want to change themselves. Like, for example, for their significant others, I just don't support that and I never will. So if you're here because you want to look good for a boy, click out of this video, that's not the right mindset work out for you, work out for your inner health because you want to get strong, work out because you want to feel better. Um, that's the spirit. So really good job. My arms are burning. They're like literally on fire. <sighs> oh my God. But we're doing amazing. I'm so proud of you. Yay, we're okay, done with this one. Uh, that was a hard one. Now we're going to go up and down and up and down yes that's the spirit you got it i'm so incredibly proud of you yes yes and come on let's do this don't give up now come on yes yes really good amazing so uh when it comes to workout motivation like i said it should be within you you should first start with, you know, I want to feel better. That's why I'm working out. But then I know how hard it can get to actually get on your mat and actually start a workout. The fact that you've started this today is so amazing. I'm so beyond proud of you. But what also really helps me is music. A lot of people always ask me about music recommendations. So I wanted to share some songs with you guys that make me feel really hyped um, whenever I'm not in the mood to work out and whilst talking about the songs we're going to do this move so we're going to clap up clap up and this move so as you guys probably know i'm really into k-pop and k-hip-hop some of my favorite k-hip-hop artists are simon dominico ph1 jay park loco gray um, i've been to the mik music festival i have two vlogs up if you're interested in k-pop then you can um watch those uh the first day is the k-pop day and the second day is the k-hip-hop day so some songs that i totally recommend are the purge that's like such a hype song and it will totally get you in the mood for working out also dax4 by simon dominico is such a hype song then when it comes to k-pop and we're going to start our new exercise. We're going to do the circles again. Um, so one um, K-pop song that I really recommend is, ooh, this is hard, there are like so many. I really love all Blackpink songs and Blackpink is actually coming back with Pink Venom. I'm so excited, but like how you like that is always a classic for me when it comes to working out. I love that. 
but if you're not into workout uh, if you're not into workouts then you shouldn't be here no if you're not into k-pop or k-hip-hop then i totally recommend you know songs by for example dua lipa she's so fun and bright i also really love travis scott if you're more into that like rap um there are so many i have a spotify playlist i will link it down below it has a bunch of different genres on it but then you can kind of see my music style and what makes me happy and hyped um now we're going to do a half moon like this really good job amazing you're strong you're powerful you're everything come on really good keep it up and after this we're going to do one more exercise and then we're already done with this workout insane time flies when you're having fun i guess clap clap beautiful amazing yes and two and one and now one more exercise to go so shake it all out and give it your all we're going to do these pulses who that hurts pulses are insane these are totally killing me so that's why i put them at the end for like that extra 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 heavy burn but we're just going to smile through the pain you got this don't give up now i know with pulses we have the tendency to not do anything at all because it's like the tiniest little movements but you gotta keep up with it you gotta be strong just think about the feeling you'll feel after working out that feeling of accomplishment come on come on don't give up you're almost done i'm hurting as well like my arms are on fire come on come on come on three and two and one and that is it we are done with the workout for today I'm sweating. I hope you are as well. Thank you so much for doing this with me. I'm super proud of you. Our full weekly workout program is in the description box down below. Good luck and goodbye. Have a wonderful day.